Hi guys, it's Team Frickson here, Frady and Vixen. We are here for our wine tasting. We'll give it a few minutes to set up. We, um, yeah, we're repping our Patriots today and I'm of course repping Scout and Cellar and, uh, and Pink Pants. But um, yeah, so we're gonna try four wines tonight. Uh, we're waiting. Um, just for the record, if you miss this and don't reveal it or review it later in YouTube, Facebook, I will post it again in YouTube on our Vixen's Vino YouTube page. So go follow that, subscribe to that, because as we do these, I'm going to be posting them on the YouTube. So we don't have any viewers yet, Freddy. I'm sending, a, I'm sharing. You're sharing right now? Sharing it now. Should I tag you in my share? I don't know. Probably not, no. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got four wines tonight. Two, three whites, well, two whites, a rosé, and a red. Now, white grapes, uh, green grapes are used to make white wines. Black grapes are used to make red wines. And rosé wines, hello, visitor, that's probably Frady. Um, rosé wines are black grapes that have been, uh, the juice has been left in the skins just a little bit to give them a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor and then taken out. And that's how they get to be rosé, but they're still considered a white wine. So you might notice we've got a new a new tripod today that we're working on getting used to that. Um, so we don't have that issue we had last time. We couldn't turn it off. Just kept hitting. Hey, we got two people. Hi, other person. Why yeah. why are we not seeing who's here? Don't oh, do don't that. do that. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm lost one. Know. All right. Well, we're gonna start drinking wine. So this you get the live, love, laugh. We all love wine. That's why we're here. Wine. Wine by Scout and Cellar. Clean crafted. The clean crafted difference. Hello, if you're just joining us, we are about to dive into the 2018 K Fico Pinot Grigio. It's got this little fun thing, K Fico Pinot Grigio, and I'm going to read just a little bit about it. It is the 2018 K Fico. It is from Italy. Italy. K Fico means what fun, I think, or how cool. How cool. Yes, in Italian. K Fico. How cool. So this is 100% Pinot Grigio, organic vegan. The alcohol content is 12.06% and the residual sugar is 1.81 grams per liter. Um, the tasting notes, this is going to be earthy and crisp. Hi Paige. Hi, Paige is here. Um, we're, wine Paige, we're drinking wine. Yeah, Paige loves wine. So this is gonna be earthy and crisp, layered and bright notes of peach, mango, almond, and limestone with a textured round mouth feel and a persistent finish. Best enjoyed while dining al fresco. Pair with seafood risotto and a simple summer salad. So it's gonna go well with um, like a rich seafood creamy thing. So yeah. Rich so, seafood creamy thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's pastas, your seafood pastas. Ooh, ah, you hear that pop? Hear that pop? Fresh. Yeah. Fresh wine. So I'm not using the pourers tonight, so we're just gonna give you a little sips. We're gonna drip it on you. Give me a little sips. And sw we swirl. We're swirling. Hi, Christy. We're swirling, we're, we're looking at the colors, we're, we're sniffing. I'm looking at the colors though. Are you, it's really, it's, this is a lovely golden color. You can see that against my blinds. Yes, so and we're sniffing. And what we're smelling is possibly peach, Ooh, really peach good. mango. You like it? Yeah. Oh, I like smell the way it that smells. Mango. See, I smell the peach more than the mango, but mm. I think peach and mango taste very similar. I might just smell the wine instead of tasting just, the wine. Okay. I'm going to taste the wine because that's what we're here for. Just, okay, I'll taste the wine. Now, this is earthier. I haven't tasted the wine yet. No, you're still smelling the wine? I'm still smelling the wine. You're scared of this wine because it's a Pinot Grigio. Why am I scared? Because it's earthy and you don't, you prefer fruity to earthy. I do like fruity things. Yeah, this is, this is not fruity. It has flavors of fruit. I like oh, it. That's really it. good. Wow. You, you like it? I like that. Do you taste the mango and the peach and the limestone? I smell, I taste the lime. Taste the, I smell the mango. You smell the mango. I definitely taste the lime. It's limestone. Like limestone. Isn't that lime? No, it's like the granite type is stone from the ground. It's like that white stone you put. But I, 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 I taste it's lime, rock. and it has the word limestone. That is all. <laughs> if you taste lime, you taste lime. Yeah. You said the word limestone, did you not? Mm hmm. So that is the Kefiko. 
And again, Che Fico in Italian means how cool, as in this Pinot Grigio. How much is this wine? This wine is $29 a bottle. $29, not bad. It's the most expensive we're gonna try tonight. How many, 12% um, alcohol? 12.06% alcohol. 1.81 grams of sugar mm -hmm. per liter. So this is from Terra de Booth, Italy. Paige has a question, something what about almonds? Mean? Almonds. Yes, it has um, bright notes of peach, mango, almond, and limestone, and you can, I, I could kind of taste an almond. It's uh, kind of in the back of your throat. It has a little, like that rustic. Are you swishing mm -hmm. in the back of your throat? Mm -hmm. You can, yeah, you can taste almonds. Hey, it's Mad Matt. It is Mad Matt. Hi, Mad Matt. That was good. I like that. You like that one? Another good, it's another good one I've had. Yep, yep. You're going to really like this one. You know who like, really likes that one? Jackie. Jackie. Jackie Jack likes this one. Jackie's not watching yet, but Jackie's this is... not watching currently that we know of, but it's like, she's bought like nine bottles. She has, and she loves it. It's the Field House Blend. Um, it is a white wine blend, but it is actually 100% Viognier grapes. Oh, it just flavors like almonds, Paige. It doesn't actually have almonds in it. These have nothing added to it. It's 100% grapes and just a little sulfites. So even if you're allergic to almonds, you can drink this wine because there are no almonds used in the making of this wine. They never come in contact with almonds. It's all just grapes. So no fear about almond flavored wine. Now, like I said, the next one is the 2018 Fieldhouse White Blend. It's 100% Viognier grapes. This one um, has residual sugar of less than 0.5 grams. So it's going to be one net gram of carbs per the entire bottle. So if you're keto, watching good. your carbs, Watch the carbs. this one's going to be good for you. Um, which is weird because it's still a little bit sweeter. It's definitely sweeter than the Pinot Grigio we just had, I think. Um, alcohol is 13.4%. That's a lot of alcohol. And the price point is good on this one. It's twenty dollars. So. Twenty bucks, bottle of wine. And this is with like one carb. <laughs> oh, Paige, you're funny. You're not gonna die. Yeah, yeah, one carb, twenty bucks. And this wine is bright and textured with notes of underripe peach, underripe apricot, and white flowers on a core of refreshing acidity that lingers. So the wine finishes clean. I like clean wine. Now, clean as craft the wine. Yes, as this wine warms up, it, you will start to it'll develop notes of pear and honey. So it gets a little sweeter the warmer it gets. So you have two different flavors in one bottle of wine. This is from Mendocino County, California. So it is an American made wine. America? America. Do, do, do. Uh oh. What? Boss man. Oh, hi pastor. <laughs> David Price in the house. <laughs> You're gonna call him out like that. I, I said it softly. <laughs> well, you did, but I get caught off guard, and when I'm caught off guard, I say things. Um, so, David, what we're about to try is the 2018 Fieldhouse White Blend, which is a 100% Viognier grape. And we're gonna smell it. We're gonna swish first, I thought. We're gonna swirl it, yeah. Swir you, um, you swirl uh, it so that there's air that opens up the flavors of the bouquet. I can understand that, Paige. No worries. We will have another one. See, and she, she brings up a good point. Oh, David's calling you out. Ooh, how much of a salesman are you? Oh, this is, ooh, because Freddie loves selling stuff. He, it might be worth it. Hmm. Pastor, I'll, I'll wear, I'll wear a Cowboys jersey all during, um, singing If You'll Buy Wine when I get back in two weeks. <laughs> So find me a shirt that fits or something. I'll wear a cowboy something all during service, you know, worship service. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll let him, even though I'm not a huge cowboy fan either. But but, but Paige brought over a little thing. She's she, and we're 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 sad to hear that you were sick and hungover. But that's one benefit of Scott Cellar clean crafted wine. It doesn't have the sulfites. Not as many sulfites. Right. It doesn't have a lot of sulfites marketed. as a manufactured wine, so you don't get the the yucky headache hungover um feeling that's that's correct. the one that's a that's one of the main benefits it's why forgive me the, it's why the lady who started what was her name again sarah shadnick she's so much better at knowing these things than i am i'm just here to drink a little wine try to bring some comedy 
Though I'm not funny. Um, yeah, but it's why the lady who started uh, Scout and Cellar got into it. She was, um, what's it called? A connoisseur? A sommelier. Sommelier, yeah. I'm really bad at this. Um, she went to different vineyards and it, it, that was her job. She would try these wines mm -hmm. as, what was that name again? Sommelier. That's it. Um, as a sommelier, she would try these wines. And when she tried these big manufactured type wines... It gave her headaches. And like it, almost instantaneously. And, and she got, and the next morning she felt very hungover. But then she realized that when she went to, hey, it's Jackie. Hey, Jackie, Jackie's here. I, I got ADD, sorry. Yeah. Hey, Jackie, we're drinking your wine. We are the Fieldhouse White, or we're about to. So anyway, so when she would go to these smaller vineyards, um, they would not give her the headache and the hangover. It's what gave her the scout and cellar. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Off of my ramble, let's try this wine. All right. Jackie's here, so we got to try it. This we've, is Jackie's wine. We swished. We've swirled. We swirled. We've we sniffed. smelled. I definitely smell the peach, the underripe peach. Not to sell out Jackie. I think she had a whole bottle last night of I, this. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> drink the wine, Jackie. Drink the wine. And we're going to drink, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, we're losing people. Oh, oh sorry, people. Good, Come good. back, people. We had 15, and then I lost them all. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's okay. The history of the company is important, too. Um... So again, this is bright, bright notes. Do you do you feel the taste the brightness? I, I taste the brightness. It's like a and, rainbow. And how it is That's fruitier. <laughs> fruitier than um what we do have, um, Paige, we have Muscat Blanc wine, which is made from the same grapes that Muscato was made from. So it is a little bit uh, sweeter than than your average wine. Hi, April. She April bought, bought some wine too. I have not received it. We're looking for. Well, to... she just ordered the other day. It does yeah. take a couple days, yeah. but yeah. So she should be getting that soon. So what do you you, you like the field? I'm, like, I'm liking the field house. I see why Jackie likes it. It's a good all purpose. She's got five. Five more on the way. I, guess I thought she you got. I, did you buy five of this, or did you buy five of the the, the one that was on sale? Well, she got some of the on sale. Speaking of sale, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about the sale on on bottle four. Bottle four. It relates. Okay. Yeah. So I love this one as far as like all purpose. It says that this one pairs with shellfish, crudité, broth based soups, and soft cheese. So basically, it goes with everything. Hi, Mandy. It's an all purpose, all purpose wine right here. I poured myself more than you. I it's okay. You. It's okay. So I'm trying not to chug it, but I'm trying to move it along so that we're. But while she is, there is a sale going on. I'm sure you've seen. I said bottle four. I, I know, but I'm just saying we have a sale right now. 20% off the adult, off, off some Chilean rind. Um, 1580 for two bottles, $20 for another one. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to try Scout and Cellar. Ah, yes. Sorry. Don't just get distracted. He's talking. And I'm um, sorry. Yeah, so we have we have some on sign. Well, it's 20% off. And the 14K came back the 14k canned um canned wines have come back and there is epic pursuit in both the white and the rosé available on the website right now as well and those sell out super fast so um you definitely want to get them quickly now the epic pursuit is um is a seltzer like wine so the alcohol content is not as high but the 14k is still like 13 percent um alcohol by volume for the cans so she said half a bottle is one of her glasses because you're smart yeah. All right, moving on. Now, Frady is going to really... Did you finish yours? Yeah. Is really going to love this one. Um, I have all the details for it in my phone. Yeah, it's empty. Yeah, okay. So this is um, the Etnico 2019 Rosé. Check out that bottle. Pretty, huh? Etnico. Check out that color. It's so pretty. It's so rosy. Rosé. I don't remember the alcohol by volume point okay. on this one 12.5 percent per volume oh, there you go i do remember it's like it's, it has a higher residual sugar than the others at a, like seven point something per bottle um so it is a little sweeter it is a rose so it's a little sweeter um still not super sweet um and this is made in chile chile down in which south is like, america it's, which is from the same area of the wine that's currently on sale for 20% off. Right, which is actually the Atalante. But this is the Etnico, and it is made with um, organic grapes. Uh, this is made of a blend of grapes. Like I said, I don't have it right in front of me because it's in my phone. Um, you're, oh, this is going to change your world, buddy. I did not like the last rosé. We... You didn't like the last rosé. Well, um, this is a tasting, love. 
I'm, I'm home. Well, yes. And <laughs> this is a tasting in my house. Right. <laughs> On my couch with my beautiful yeah. wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, try this. Try this. Jackie did try this one and says it does taste really good with frozen strawberries, peaches, and mangoes. So this makes a great base for like a sangria. But it's also really, switch. It's really good by itself. I just can't wait to drink it because I, I know this one tastes so good. But you already drink it. You had a wonderful taste in the other day. I did. You can have a tasting if you, you would can. like. Um, if you would like a discount on wine, uh, you can get up to 60% off up to three bottles of wine by having a tasting. Now, you can either have an in-home tasting where you and all your girlfriends or your boyfriends or your guy friends or your, I don't know, just anyone you all know that friends. likes wine. Or family. And, right. Anyone you know that likes wine, friends, family, um, they can come yeah. over and we can try some of these wines with you and they can buy if they want and you could have a tasting and get, like I said, 60% off three bottles of wine up to, you know, if, if you hit... A certain threshold um, or you can do it virtually you don't even have to have people come over you can you... come over to my house hang out right here on the red couch we'll come to you or that uh, I heard rumor has it I haven't been able to confirm but rumor has it April and Jackie were hanging out at April's pool today oh uh, I was we, not invited we could have a virtual tasting at April's pool with some with some that wine sounds and, fun like I'm just saying we could bring some wine and have a virtual tasting this is a good idea at April's pool I'm just I'm just yeah. putting it out there <laughs> okay in the meantime this has notes of blood orange and strawberry so smell it Etnico Rosé I can smell the blood orange mmm you smell the I orange I can smell the orange yeah I can I can smell you said this isn't, I'm really going to like this. I'm a little worried. I did not like the last rosé I tried. <laughs> I know. This is nothing like the last rosé. Oh, wow. You're so right. Oh, wow. The last one was drier. It was earthier and a little Great tart. Great tart. This, oh, wow. This is, is like, you can taste the orange. Oh, my goodness. The mouth feel oh, is really oh. nice. It's softer than, oh. and I got all of this from um, the softness from uh, my tasting Sunday, her husband, Rhonda's husband, Mike, was a wine connoisseur, and he was like, yeah, I definitely notice how soft the mouthfeel is. And he's right. It does. Tina, it's, Tina's new. I don't know who Tina is, but hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. She likes wine. Tina, order some wine. Tina, message me. We'll get you hooked up. Because this, the Etnico Rosé. Oh, wow. This is so good. I know. I know. That's why there's less of it in that bottle, because people wanted to try it again. A lot of people will be buying this from my last tasting. Oh my goodness! Listen, if y'all, if y'all like rosé, this is like the perfect summer. This Etnico is the oh yeah, wow. it's so crisp. But this might be my favorite Scout and Cellar wine yet. It's really good. It really is. Yeah. Oh. oh. So the next I'm one. Just I'm just gonna hold the bottle. You want to just hold the bottle? Are you gonna hold the bottle and pour it into your glass? Because we have more. No, you're being silly now. Okay, give me that back. We've got one more to try. And but, then we but, but the Etnico. I know the Etnico. It's pretty. The, the so et, pretty. The Etnico. Oh, Mississippi. Nice. Well, hi. Welcome to Virginia. We shipped to Mississippi as well. Hey, so Rhonda's we here. To, hi, Rhonda. Rhonda, we're trying the rest of the wine from your from your tasting. Right, because I said we had to save some for Freddy. That's what this is for. That Etnico, Rhonda. That Etnico. The Rosé. He's a big fan. Oh, right. okay. This party's getting a little wild over there. All right. <laughs> the last one we're trying for the night is the red. It's a 2018 Adelante Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, we were talking about the sale. This one is from Argentina. Mendoza, Argentina. But the ones that are on sale are also Adelante, and they are from Chile. Um, there is a Cabernet Sauvignon, but is a Reserva, and it is going to be similar to this, but is on sale now. It's regularly $25. It's on sale for $20. Not that one, the Reserva. The Reserva the, is on sale. Adelante Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon, Sauvignon Reserva. Reserva, normally $25, on sale for $20. This one is only $22, though, so yeah. also very reasonably priced. This is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, organic, vegan. The alcohol content is 13.5%, and residual sugar is 2 grams per liter, $22. This one, we're going backwards a little bit because it's red. This is a little earthy. Hi, Jessica. So earthy and bold, bright and complex with notes of boysenberry, raspberry, and get this, tobacco. Tobacco. That'll be interesting. With a touch of sweet herbs on a medium textured frame with dusty tannins and an elegant finish. This is going to pair perfectly with your grilled meats, 
um, whether it's steaks or a hamburger, you know, anything you put like on the grill, love, barbecue ribs. Mm. I love grilling. Mm. Yes, he does. Um, so this is from Argentina. And again, this is the Adelante Cabernet Sauvignon. Fun, festive, 2018. All right. Earthy and bold. I can't talk and pour at the same time, apparently. I can talk and switch. Yes, you can. And Mike, you're right, Rhonda. Mike loved this one. Yeah, it was um because he 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 likes Merlots. So this was more approachable than your average Merlot because it is a Cabernet Sauvignon. So it is not as in your face as Merlots can be, but it is it's it's really nice. So we're gonna try that. You smell it. You smell the boysenberry. I smell. Do you smell the tobacco? Like a I, like a I'm pipe, thinking, I think pipe tobacco? I think that's what I'm smelling. Yeah. Not like cigarette smoke. Don't get us wrong. We're talking about the actual like tobacco like from a pouch. The smell. That grandpa used to pack into a pipe. Like the smell the smell of tobacco. Mm. I love the way it smells. I think the smell is It's great. not a bad smell. Yeah. It's a little strong for my liking. Well, it is bold. It, it is, is very bold. bold. You could definitely smell the boldness. But, yeah. yeah. But, you know. Now, I love Cabernet Sauvignons, so I love this one. It is bold, definitely. You're, it's drier, so, it so you can drier. feel how it dries out your palate a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. You're probably not a huge fan of this, and that's okay. No, it's, it, I mean, I reached the pinnacle with the Etico. I might never try another wine in my life. <laughs> you're right, Paige, you're right. That's why we use stemmed glasses, so that we can keep the wine cold. Although a red likes to be a little warmer, so maybe I'm warming it up appropriately, Paige. Mm, no, maybe. she's gonna hold, gotta hold pinkies out. Pinkies out. I yeah. just here to look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just here to, just to try the wine. Try the wine. I like wine. Who wants to come over and dry, drink wine with us? Right now. Just right this kidding. A little on. late tonight for for. It's only nine thirty. Nine twenty four. Nine twenty four. Yeah. But this is really good. I like this. This, yeah. is, this is another four good... You can definitely tell the difference between clean crafted and your mass marketed wines. Correct. Um, these are verified clean crafted because they are tested twice. Every batch is double lab tested to um, verify that it is pure of it's just grapes. Grapes and a little bit of sulfites for preservation. All natural. All natural grapes. Grape juice that has been fermented. Fermented. So no oh. fertilizers, no mega purple, no... There's a whole list of things that are included in regular wines that are not included in these. So. I'm okay. liking it. I'm digging it. I'm, dig I'm digging it. I like that. I like the Cabernet. I could definitely see it with some steak. Making me want some steak right now. Mmm, steak. Yeah. So, um, another thing I wanted to touch on was shipping. Because normally wine clubs or wineries do not ship during the summer because it's hot. And our wine is coming out of Texas because that's where our sellers are. So hot in Texas. Um, but we do still ship using Scout Safe Shipping. Now that means that every order you get is going to be packed in an insulated box. Insulated with all recyclable all recyclable materials, everything is eco-friendly, has been recycled, can be recycled, including these awesome ice packs that come in. I'll hold it for you. Okay. Um, ice packs that keep the wine chilled throughout its trip to you. Um, and these are also recyclable. You can open them up, pour the little gel right down the sink drain, and it's perfectly safe. And then you pour the little pouch, throw the pouch right into your recycle bin because it is recyclable. So it's it this is gonna keep somewhere. you cold. Keep your wine cold. And then it's recyclable. Yeah. Hi, Julie. Yeah. So everything, all the boxes, all the materials you get are recyclable because Scout and Cellar is very aware of save, saving the world through wine. Yeah. Saving the environment. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. I just wanted to show this to you because it's cool. You can also reuse these. Just refreeze them and throw them in a cooler. And Look, buy some wine, drink the wine, enjoy the wine, and then you get free ice packs. Well, they're not entirely free. But it's totally worth it to get your wine during the summer months. But then you get to keep them forever. You can. You don't have to go buy ice packs. Yeah. All right. So um, 
before we get too long-winded and drink the rest of this wine, does anyone have any questions? Would anyone like me to try another wine for you? Because I can. I'm pausing, pausing for questions. I mean. The Adelante, remember, the Adelante, Adelante is on sale. Adelante is on sale right now. Three different bottles. I think it's the Carbon, the Cabernet. Cabernet Sauvignon. No, I think it's just the Cabernet. It's Cabernet Sauvignon Reserva. Then it's the Chardonnay. And the Chardonnay. Chardonnay. And one more. The third one. Yeah, I'm not good at wine. I'm not a wine guy. But there's three bottles on sale. Two bottles on sale for fifteen twenty, and the Reserva is um, 20. 20. So yeah. it's get them before they run out. Um, you can only buy six bottles at a time of them. For the discount price. Right. But if you buy six or 12, you get a discount. An additional discount. Right. 5% off. All, no matter what bottles you buy. If you buy six bottles of wine, you get um, 5% off. Right. If you buy 12 bottles of wine, you get 10% off. Correct. Um, and I would love to talk about Scout Circle, which is our wine club, but I'm not going to do that this time. I talked about it last time, so check out the video on the YouTube under Vixen's Vino. Or just scroll down. It's probably still lingering on here in my events, in my video pages. So, um... If you are watching this after the fact, I would love to know that you watched. So just drop a little comment that says rewatch or, or redo or looking later or number two, whatever. Just let me know you watched it so I know. And um, yes. if you want to buy some wine, let me know. Um, Message, there's a link. There's links all over the Facebook group. So that many you're, links. You know, there's this links after link to the link. Yeah. Buy some wine. She's trying to hit her goal. A couple. You need what? Two hundred more dollars. I need two hundred ish more dollars by tomorrow night. So I would love for you to order some wine because I've got goals by the end of the month, um, and I've done really good for my first month, and I'm really excited. But now I, this goal is is right there, and I just want to grab it. Um, yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up now. If you have any questions, let me know. Message me. Like the page. Share the page. Share the video. Share everything because we're trying to get this out there. Clean crafted wine for everybody, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye, people.